Yellow is the most optimistic color, yet surprisingly, people lose their tempers most often in yellow rooms and babies cry more in them. The reason may be that yellow is the hardest color on the eye. On the other hand, it speeds metabolism and enhances concentration, think of yellow legal pads and post-it notes. Cheerful sunny yellow is an attention getter. While it is considered an optimistic color, people lose their tempers more often in yellow rooms, and babies will cry more. It is the most difficult color for the eye to take in, so it can be overpowering if overused. Yellow enhances concentration, hence its use for legal pads. It also speeds up metabolism. Akimbo, this must be one of the odder looking words in the language. It puzzles us in part because it doesn't seem to have any relatives. What's more, it is now virtually a fossil word, until recently almost invariably found in arms akimbo, a posture in which a person stands with hands on hips and elbows sharply bent outward, one that signals impatience and hostility. Domestication is an evolutionary, rather than a political development. They were more likely to survive and prosper in an alliance with humans than on their own. Humans provided the animals with food and protection, in exchange for which the animals provided the humans their milk and eggs and yes their flesh. Since Plato, philosophers have described the decision-making process as either rational or emotional, we carefully deliberate, or we blink and go with our gut. But as scientists break open the mind's black box with the latest tools of neuroscience, they are discovering that this is not how the mind works. Our best decisions are a finely tuned blend of both feeling and reason, and the precise mix depends on the situation. Moods may also have an effect on how information is processed, by influencing the extent to which judges rely on pre-existing, internal information, or focus on new, external information. Positive moods promote a more holistic and top-down processing style, while negative moods recruit more stimulus-driven and bottom-up processing. The brain is divided into two hemispheres, called the left and right hemispheres. Each hemisphere provided a different set of functions, behaviors, and controls. The right hemisphere is often called the creative side of the brain, while the left hemisphere is the logical or analytical side of the brain.
introverts, or those of us with introverted tendencies, tend to recharge by spending time alone. They lose energy from being around people for long periods of time, particularly large crowds. Extroverts, on the other hand, gain energy from other people. Extroverts actually find their energy is sapped when they spend too much time alone. They recharge by being social. A young man from a small provincial town, a man without independent wealth, without powerful family connections, and without a university education, moved to London in the late 1580s, and in a remarkably short time, became the greatest playwright not of his age alone, but of all time. How did Shakespeare become Shakespeare? Botanic gardens are scientific and cultural institutions established to collect, study, exchange, and display plants for research and for the education and enjoyment of the public. There are major botanic gardens in each capital city. Zoological parks and aquariums are primarily engaged in the breeding, preservation, study, and display of native and exotic fauna in captivity. Although introvert personality types differ from one another on various grounds, the major difference between the two is their source of rejuvenation. While for extroverts, this may mean interaction or excursions with friends and family, the same may mean reading a book or listening to music for introverts. In the fast-changing world of modern healthcare, the job of a doctor is more and more like the job of a chief executive. The people who run hospitals and physicians' practices don't just need to know medicine. They must also be able to balance budgets, motivate a large and diverse staff, and make difficult marketing and legal decisions. We believe in the inherent value of research in the humanities and social sciences. Our research data agenda is given by the pursuit of new knowledge that will be of benefit to Australia and the world. We offer one of the most comprehensive programs in the humanities and social sciences in Australia and the Asian Pacific region. The whole purpose of making notes is to aid your learning. It is important to go back over them within a day of making them to make sure they make sense and make them legible for future revisions. Also, going back over them should highlight the key questions of areas in which you want to do further reading.
The word radical from the Latin word for roots means anyone who advocates fundamental change in the political system. Literally, a radical is one who proposes to attack some political or social problems by going deep into the social or economic fabric to get at the root cause and alter this basic weakness. This is a new, accessible, and engaging textbook written by academics who also work as consultants with organizations undergoing change. It offers a unique combination of rigorous theoretical exploration together with practical insights from working with those who are actually responsible for managing change. There were various explanations for volcano behavior before the structure of the Earth's mantle as a semisolid material was developed. For decades, awareness that compression and radioactive materials may be heat sources was discounted and volcanic action was often attributed to chemical reactions and a thin layer of molten rock near the surface. <laughs> 